Hi everyone, welcome to Storytime with Fairfield County Library. My name is Messina and I am so excited for Storytime today. Before we get started, I want to remind you that we are doing hybrid story times, which means on top of story times online here, we are also doing them in person at the library. The in-person version of these story times for the toddler slash preschool age group are at 10.30 a.m. on Mondays. Okay, now that that's out of the way, are you guys ready for story time? This week, our theme is music. That means this week we're going to read some books to get you up dancing and singing. All right, our first book is Never Play Music Right Next to the Zoo by John Lithgow, illustrated by Lisa Hernandez and published by Simon & Schuster Books for Young Readers. I went to a concert when I was a lad no older than many of you. I sat with my sister, my mother, and my dad at a band show right next to the zoo. The soft summer air was so balmy and sweet and the program was running so long that I found myself falling asleep in my seat despite all the music and song. All at once, the conductor erupted with rage. A band of wild animals was storming the stage. Oh, children, remember, whatever you may do, never play music right next to the zoo. They'll burst from their cages, each beast and each bird, desperate to play all the music they've heard. The lions and the elephants, the bears and the raccoons will steal away the trumpets, the flutes, and bassoons. Replace the musicians and chase them away. They'll sit in the band shell and play. The monkeys played fiddle, the bison played bass, the percussions were manned by the camel. The yak played sax until red in the face, a surprisingly musical mammal. The bonobo played oboe, the ferret the flute, the jackal attacked the bassoon. The hippo had chosen the kuba tutut by the light of the silvery moon. Siberian tigers, Mongolian goats, a super abundance of bestial notes. As the animal orchestra filled up the air with chaos, confusion, and clatter, the audience calmly continued to stare, as if nothing at all was the matter. I trembled with terror, suppressing a scream, while my parents just sat there in rapture. Oh, how I wished it was only a dream and those creatures all safely recaptured.
But since by the minute I'd grown less afraid, I decided to sit back and watch while they played. They finished and each put his instrument down, then bowed and descended the stage. Each shed his tuxedo or evening gown and hurried back home to his cage. Then each reminisced so grateful and glad, so full of contentment and pride. My mother, meanwhile, strolled away with my dad, but my sister remained by my side. She tugged on my sweater and spoke in my ear. You better wake up or we're leaving you here. children, remember, whatever you may do, never play music right next to the sun. They'll burst from their cages, each beast and each bird, desperate to play all the music they've heard. No, never play music right next to the zoo, and pay strict attention to rule number two. Bear it in mind for the rest of your days. Don't fall asleep when an orchestra plays. All right. That was Never Play Music Right Next to the Zoo. What did you guys think? If you were an animal, what kind of animal would you be? And what kind of instrument would you play? All right, our next book is Zin Zin Zin, A Violin by Lloyd Moss, illustrated by Marjorie Priceman and published by Simon & Schuster Books for Young Readers. With mournful moan and silken tone, itself alone is one trombone. Gliding, sliding, high notes go low. One trombone is playing solo. Next, a trumpet comes along and sings and stings its swinging song. It joins trombone, no more alone. And one and two, they're a duo. Fine French horn, its valves all oiled, bright and brassy, loops all coiled. Gold and yellow joins its fellows. Two, now three, oh, that's a trio. Now a mellow friend, the cello, neck extended, bows a hello, and pin set upon the floor, it makes a quartet, that's four. And soaring high and moving in, with zin zin zin, a violin. Stroking strings that come alive, now quintet, let's count them, five. Flute, 
that sends out soul a shiver, flute that slender silver sliver, a place among the set it picks to make a young sextet. That's six. With steely keys that softly click, its breezy nose so darkly slick, a sleek black woody clarinet. It's room number seven, now septet. Gleeful, bleeding, sobbing, pleading, through its throbbing double reading. Oboe, please don't hesitate. Come, make it an octet. That's eight. That lazy clown, the big bassoon, he plays low down. We're laughing soon. Here, Grumpy, get your place in line and give us a non-net. That's not. The harp descends with angel's wings, a heaven's blend through magic strings. And when it joins the others then, behold, a chamber group of ten. The orchestra comes in the hall, there on the stage we see them all. The cello, harp, and clarinet, the trumpet who we've also met, the oboe, flute, and big bassoon, all eager to get started soon. Trombone, French horn, and violin, all poised and ready, now begin. The strings all soar, the reeds implore, the brasses roar with notes galore. It's music that we all adore, it's what we go to concerts for. And minutes fly, the music ends, and so goodbye to our new friends. But when they bowed and left the floor, if we clap loud and shout encore, they may come out and play once more. And that would give us great delight before we say a late good night. All right, that is Zin Zin Zin, a violin. How many of those instruments did you know the name of? All right, everyone, thank you for coming to story time. Now, just because we're done reading does not mean that we have to be done with story time. At the library, you can get something called a story time kit, which is a fun filled activity kit that goes with the books we read today. Each kit comes with a colored sheet, a craft, and a tasty recipe that you can make with your grown -ups. This week, we are making maracas out of egg cartons and you can decorate them however you want to get a kit you need to come to the fairfield county library and look for some crates in the children's section now we have two crates one for the monday story times and one for the wednesdays so you want to make sure to grab the right kits or you can end up with something completely different the kits for this story time are in the toddler slash prequel crate they are the red ones we have new kits every week so make sure to check back in every time we do a new story time okay everyone thank you for joining me for story time it's time to say goodbye but i look forward to seeing you all next time and i hope to see you in the library this week to pick up a story time kit bye